it's going on YouTube. Um, some of you guys are aware I've just posted a video shortly, uh, shortly ago, um, showing my male Londo showing off to his female. So that was just a quick, quick video, really, just to show you. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an update now. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of new additions to the tank. Um, also, as some of you guys are aware, uh, slightly new Rockscape. And also, guys, the beginning of algae is starting to grow on my rocks, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm also going to talk to you about what food I feed my fish. Um, and the worming product that I use to worm my fish um, every month so yeah here we go guys so like I say uh, as some of you guys are aware I've built up the rock a bit on the left hand side of the tank just to create some more more uh, caves and and some more more spaces really um, so yeah, what I'm planning to do, guys, is to to build that rock up right to the top of the tank, um, and then kind of having it coming down on a slope. Um, the only thing which is is that I'm kind of nervous about, guys, is that if if that rock slips or anything like that, 545 liters of water will be on my living room carpet and my missus will not be happy but we'll wait and see right guys uh, show you some of the new fish uh, some of you guys can see a nice bright orange estray um, F1 um, I think this is a male um, but he, he, he or she is looking lovely. I may have to vent to see uh, what sex it is, but just adds a bit of bit of colour to the tank. Um, yeah, doing great, doing great. Also, guys, as you can see, got a Travas uh, Maylandi, I think the name is. Um, but he is he is stunning. So let, let's get some close up, guys. As you can see, I go near the tank, they all scarper in the rocks, but let, let's, let's try and get some, some close-ups, eh? As you can see, guys, the uh, the long pelvic Chesar Z is doing great. Um, he, he, he's, he's, he just keeps himself to himself, really, and he, he has a scarper every now and again. But he, he's doing good. Um, there's a Travas, guys. Very very nice fish. Um, when when it's actually dark and the, and the tank lights are on, he, his body goes kind of like a goldy colour, which is fantastic. Um, really happy with this fish. Uh, big shout out to Ashley Waters. Um, I've been mithering him for ages to get to get these fish off him, um, and he finally gave in to my pestering, which is good. Um, but yeah, look, looking stunning, looking stunning. So happy with that, very happy with that. Also, guys, um, got a uh, F1 female Hara um, for my male Hara. Um, male Hara is just there. Um, still, still very, very young at the minute. Um, but but when he colours up, he portrays some some marvellous whites and blacks which is great um absolutely over the moon with this with, with, with the with the haras um looking lovely as you can see king sizey looking crazy as usual a bit of a fight there king sizey and that's the female king sizey oh it was a bit of a fight then never mind as you know, that's the benefits of keeping the booner, I suppose. 
Uh, yeah, so as, as you can see, guys, earlier on I showed you the Londo uh, trying to breed, trying to get the attention of the female. Um, he's, he's he's kind of quieting down um, since since I took that video. But there, there is the female there. Um, lovely looking fish. Uh, Byron is perfect. So I'm over the moon with that. A pollock looking crazy as usual. Yeah, I'm 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 happy with these. I'm happy with this. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about this Numbi Gold, guys. Believe it or not, this Numbi Gold is female. And uh, I introduced the Estre and the Travas to the tank on Saturday. Um, believe it or not, that Numbi Gold at the back was actually shaking and being very very territorial and dominant and 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 so on and so on now now this is the the the, the, the numby gold is uh, i'm finding it very very difficult to get hold of a male for this female um when i've done some research on this she she wants to breed um so this is why she she's she's showing all these these signs and she, she's just trying to get some interest in her. Um, but as I say, here in the UK, I'm finding it very 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 difficult to get hold of a male for the for this female. Um, and I don't just want any male. I want I, I want F1 male. Um, as you can see, Londo's at it again. Uh, crazy fish. Um, but yeah, like I say, she, 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 she's uh, yeah, she's portraying some really weird colours. Uh, as you guys are aware, uh, on a couple of my videos um, ago, I talked about the mark on her nose. Uh, it's getting a lot better now, guys. Um, just a war wound. Just a, I think I think it was a kind of a lip lock that lasted a little bit too long, really. And and she come a little bit worse off. So as you can see, there's just a little white mark on the on the top of her lip. Um, but I'm, I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Alondo looking crazy, absolutely crazy. But over the moon with this. As you can see, guys, as well the sand. Yeah, that isn't me who's done that with the sand. That is a combination of all the fish digging. They've actually managed to bury a rock at the back. I don't know how they've managed to do that, but they've buried a rock. And the rock is really, really big. Um, but yeah, they have they've 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 shifted quite a lot of sand. Quite a lot of sand. Well never mind, we're just gonna leave it as it is. Um obviously I'll I I will stir it up and, and so on and so on to stop it going anaerobic um, but yeah so guys what do I feed my fish well I'll show you we have a couple of foods here come out of the way Millie sorry there's my dog just getting in camera sorry about that uh, I shall talk about this stuff shortly but yeah um, as you guys can see, uh, New Era um, Riff Valley Riff Lake Green. Um, lovely. I, I really like that fish. Uh, that fish food. Uh, not that I've tasted it or anything, but you know, I, I really, <laughs> I really feel as though it's got some great benefits for the fish. Um, and the fish absolutely love it. Love it. They do. Um, so yeah, I, I feed, I feed, I feed them that, guys. I also have a mix up really. I use the um, the Tetra Pro algae, um, but what I also did with this one is I bought a small tub of the Tetra Pro color as well, um, and basically just mixed it in, guys. So they're getting a bit of both. They're getting the algae and they're getting the the the, the color themselves, um, which is good. Um, also, you're probably all aware of this Ikari Cyclic Gold. Um, yeah, I feed them that as well. Um, obviously, I soak that in the garlic guard, which is good. I don't feed the fish the ball, by the way. That's my 
Staffordshire Bull Terrier's favourite toy. Anyway, so yeah, I soak the sickly gold pellets in the garlic guard and they go crazy for it. Absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, on top of that, guys, what I, what I also do is I also buy um, some cooked frozen prawns, uh, full prawns. And basically, as a treat, I do it every month. Um, I get about four or five whole prawns, chop them up very, very finely, boil them so they're nice and soft, and, and then chuck them in the tank as well. And the fish go crazy for it, guys, absolutely crazy. Um, so, yeah, that, that that's what I'm feeding my fish at the minute. Um, quite interested to know if, if you guys use any of these products, you know, give us a shout. Give us a comment, uh, or or you know, give give me give me give me give me the the choices of of food you use. You know what benefits what benefits have you seen from using your food? You know, l l let me know. Hit hit me up a comment, uh, and uh, I'll answer it. Also, guys, what I want to talk about is the Kazuri wormer. Um, Basically, I wore my fish last night. Um, I think this is a must, a must. Not all for people who keep Malawi, but people who keep all fish. You know, I think I think that to keep your fish healthy and to keep them um, obviously less prone to get sick, then obviously the 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 wormer. I, I think it's a must. Um, like you say, I have been using this now for the last uh, last few months. Uh, the tank's had about two or three doses of this, and and I've been fortunate, guys. I've never experienced uh, fish uh, with worms, um, but I have seen some effects that that is caused by worms, and it's really, really not fair on the fish, you know. So, guys, if you're not using this. I strongly recommend it, and people who ha who are using it, hit me up a comment. Let me know what you think of it. Is there any other better products out there? You know, let me know. Um, much appreciated. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the food and the and the uh, the, the the wormer that I use. Let's go back to the tank. You know, so yeah, I'm thinking about building the rockscape right to the top. Which should be good, be very good, you know. Um, yeah, that's about it, really, guys. Not much more to 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 add on that. Just the, to let you all know that all the fish are doing great. You know, there's never nothing happening in my tank. There's always something happening. You know. Oh yeah, guys, that's what I wanted to say. The algae has started, as you can see, with some nice green algae on that rock, which is exactly what we want. And also, guys, if you look over here, we are starting to get algae on the rocks, which is good, you know. I'm sure the Travass will love that. Yeah, over the moon with it, over the moon with it, doing really well. What I'm going to do as well, guys, in the description, I'm going to put a list of my stock that I've got in my tank, so you guys can all can have a ganders at it. Um, and if you want me to, to, to get any close-ups of a particular fish, give me a shout, hit me up a comment, you know, more than happy to do that. If anybody wants a shout-out, let me know. I'll give you a shout out, um, but yeah guys, that's me for today, alright then YouTube, take it easy, see you later.